for a human being to survive in this society. With that opening remarks, I'd like to conclude my uh, opening remarks. And uh, now I will hand over the stage over to Hanif. Uh, yeah. When we look at, a, look at a rural area and a developed city like Colombo, the opportunities are very low. Of going to a you know, mostly uh, to private schools rather than these government schools. But we people are have rights to enjoy free education in Sri Lanka. With that opening remark, I will move on to our first panelist, uh, Mr. Amrit Edir Surya, who is the official youth delegate of Sri Lanka to the United Nations for 2009. Even though we're considering this as urban versus rural, it's not only a geographical problem, but more of an opportunity, opportunity problem. And if we take the context of Sri Lanka, this is very, very easily identifiable. Where we can see a saturation of the move out of the city, you can see a massive, massive difference in the wealth distribution, socioeconomic backgrounds that these students come from. Because at the end of the day, unfortunately, some of them come from labor, labor heavy jobs, whether it's fishermen, forestry work, and because of that, they don't have the income necessary to buy the education they require. Because in today's world, it's not Education is no longer the entitled privilege that we should have. Right? Or sometimes their family situation is so bad that they can't. Because it's not just the individual family household that has to continue to live in poverty or continues to live in a low income, low, uh, with a low income. Because they have the right. And then we can see there is a massive disparity between the quality of learning in Colombo and in the rural areas. Which is why you can see people born in Colombo and people have access even to a government. Then teaching. So what they are doing is doing a part-time job in a school time. So that is the thing that is happening in schools and everywhere. Because again, money issues are there. When it comes to children who want to go to schools and they don't have enough money, then again problems come. Let me also look at the statistics, uh, the same statistics. Uh, but for me, before any economic policy, you need to have education highlighted and you need to have a very clear education policy because that is how you grow the country. And you need to have a ready, skilled labor force. You need to have people with diverse skills, with expertise to drive the economy of a country. Uh, before the now two and a half years, we are starting the preschool, right? Okay, the developed countries are starting from, I think, schooling about more than six years or seven years. But in Sri Lanka, two and a half years, most of the people think. But it is within the urban sector. Uh, if you take Colombo, everybody thinks that Colombo has the best schools and all the top, all the elite schools. All students have a great opportunity of education. Yes, Colombo does have some of the best schools. but. Colombo also has to schools which because of their social economic situation. I know of a school within the Colombo city where the teachers uh, only attend school on the days that they get something. Because otherwise those students don't even have uh, uh, for them is the fact that very few of them have access to a computer at home. And this is the only time they can actually use one. So they find that interesting because they can actually use it. But they have a disinterest in education. As you pointed out, they just don't want to go to school because they don't see the point from the experience that the human rights meant what I feel, what I understood is there are people who are not in the race. They are not in the ground. They are not, not in the track. First of all, we have to bring them to the track. Thereafter, only we have to discuss the quality and the things. Last time also, the Sri Lanka Islamic Student Movement organized the same sort of world day of social justice uh, regarding the issue of uh, up, up country that Pati Kamkaru in Sunni Prashna, right? The Arabian Dahati, the Arab Tatan Karan. Education is not, they, they are not recruited into actual education system of our country, prevailing system. So, this is much worse than, or much uh, dangerous than what we spoke so far. So, what I heard is, yes, there are quality problems. Actually, the system is not allowing them to come inside. So, if we want to make a real change to this thing, what I felt is there was, there are already, there are in past, uh, certain people, uh, certain 
trade unions, uh, certain student movements, uh, allocate 6% of GDP at least to the education sector. That was the demand. So what I felt, uh, no, we already discussing these are the, these are the things we are facing, but we never discussed what would be the solution. Example Rwanda, right, it's, a, it's a developing country, they've allocated more than 15% of the GDP to education. That's the vision they have, right? But it's a political move, okay? So we do need to persuade the government, but in a civilized way and a very, you know, I would call non-violent way, in my opinion, right? Uh, but yeah, you can go and peacefully demonstrate, right? And you can pressure the government in different ways, and we need to do it. And, and that is a, is a collective effort that we have taken uh, to go forward. And I would definitely applaud this program for taking that first step because this is encouraging more people. Because it all starts from a dialogue. You have to first have the dialogue to then start the action, right? So I think this is a brilliant first initiative. And for a purpose. So that's what I believe that this platform given us. Because we, different people from diversity of places and diversity of religion, and everyone is here. Just we are, we are discussing a fact. So this is a platform that we can work towards what we, work, we are talking about social justice uh, when it comes to this education. Because there are lots of issues that we have to focus on when it comes to resources. We believe that, uh, let's see, in the future, uh, my brother Udaya mentioned about the Satan uh, <laughs> So let's see what we can do. Collectively, there are many organizations that have been presented, that are present here. So let's see what we can do in collaboration, maybe two events. And uh, email addresses, if, you, if, if someone has not given you email addresses, if someone has not registered, Please do register uh, your email address. We will share that document. We will prepare the document and we will share the document with you and we will publish it. Uh, for allocating this valuable time uh, for the discussion. Indeed, you did a great job in moderating the event. And uh, I'd like to thank all the participation on behalf of the organizations. Fellowship of Christian University Students Association, FOCUS, for National Integration, PCNI, Eastern Youth uh, International Modern Adventures, EYIMUN, uh, NSC, and uh, I really apologize if I missed out in organization, and I sincerely... Also, my email Also, my Yeah, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you all for allocating uh, for for allocating your valuable time and uh, for providing your valuable insights and questions, it, that that was the most uh, that was the uh, and thank you, thanks. Uh, I thank all the individuals apart from the organizations who registered for the events and who elevated their time and uh, came here for this valuable discussion. Thank you, everyone. And with that being said, uh, I, uh, good night and have a safe journey back home. Amjad Khan. Selang Islamik semua manusia telah berakhir. Selang ke Islam ini mana orang yang kem, ur sarwa desa mata tulah pesa perti sarwa desa samuha ni dikanat. Selang ke Islam ini mana orang yang kem, ada uru pesi purna. Ada uru samuha ni dikanat, uru mukia mana telai paha kondu orang orang ini nihal wah internet ini amai perti. Kudu, anda wahile internet ini manusia itu education the universal human right. Inda tim latan internet ini anda engkau ini nihal cina rendah. Anda wahyil, ini itu nama Iran mukti Youth Delhi Kerala United Nation for the 1920 mukti mana oral, atau Amit Amrit Edrisuriye, co-founder of Smile Sri Lanka. Adi ini eram, awal already Youth Parliament la 17 la in the or Minister of Foreign Affairs ni yang perlu pergi ni kerat, awal tan Kavin Bihar. Mohan Dira, Mohan Dira. Kami mungkin mah anda rend topik halal kondo yang ada tim ispil sini terlanga. Anu bahaya ialah indera ini al nadi petra, anda samuha ni dikahan, kalbi petriya, orang beli pudaru, anda nart makhlukum, anda samuha tu kum mungkin mah kalbi la indera tadam petir tadam petir terikra mana berhal ilangjer keluk ke orang mungkin mahan. Bisanya mah apa itu sendi ku mentera dengan nombor, ini terdahan do, ini belir puna ruh, edu tu kondo, ini kadit tak kadit tak, samuha ni dia kondo, ini kalbi, ilangi ilah, pesa padanu, yosi ke padanu mentera, adit tak titanggalan oki naharun mentera kete, 